Yo, yo, Mickey Bay. What's up? What's going on? Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Spencer. Let me introduce to you. One second, the Mickey. Trainer, the trainer, my guy, in Las Vegas, the trainer of Devon, the real Devon Haney, the one and only Mr. Mickey Bay. Former, I think it was the IBF, IBF champion. IBF lightweight champion. IBF champion, lightweight champion. Mickey, good to have you on the show. How you doing, sir? What's up? What's going on? Yeah, uh, Mickey, I want to know. It's like um, we did something recently um, calling out all of the top fighters. Um, Gary, put that up. Mickey Bay, man. Put that up Mickey on the Bay. Mickey Bay, trainer of the Former Devin lightweight Haney. trainer, Devin Haney, right? I'm saying yeah. when we when we look at why is why would you say Devin's the best lightweight in the world and how would Devin do against the um, the the guys like Ryan Garcia, Tank, uh, um, Teofimo Lopez? Um, why would why would why why do you believe that your fight will beat him? Um, well, I, I think. Even though sparring is different, you know, we work we work with, with a lot of them a lot and you know, we just had the number every time. But um I just think Devin is more well rounded than the other fighters up. You know, all those fighters are good, but Devin can do it all. Like he can uh box, he can um he can get you out of there, you know, if he wants to. You know, a lot of people uh, you know, I know I know it's punching power because I work with him, so but he can fight on the inside, outside. You know, he can hit, not get hit. His I really, I would sum it up to his IQ. You know, his IQ and his ability to adapt. Uh, I don't think none of them would be able to 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 keep up with that. Okay. Well, I, one thing I would say, Mickey. You know, you know, I know Devin, and I was saying on the show the other day that even as a little kid, as a 12, 13 year old. Devon had different kind of punch power. I don't believe so far. I don't believe that that's really been shown. But what the question, the question I want to ask you is, do you feel, I mean, uh, Javante has now knocked out Santa Cruz. Garcia has now knocked out Luke Campbell. Do you feel that Devon needs that breakout fight to be up there? Because in those last two fights, I mean, you know, I, I think if we took a poll, they would have Tank and Garcia above Haney. So what what next for Devon? Where do you see him uh, in, in this whole grand scheme of, uh, of things? And what kind of fight are we looking for next to put his name back up there to number one? Well, I, I'm going to say this about Ryan. There's no way the way he got dropped that you could put that, like, yeah, he finished uh, Luke, but... If, if Devin would have got dropped like that, I don't care how he would have hit the fight, it would have been, I mean, you would have been hearing about that way more than knockout like Tom. Um, That's true. That's true. If, imagine if Tank would have done that to Ryan. Would he have got up and finished? That's true. That's a good point. That's a good point. If Tank would have finished him, Devin would have finished him and uh, Tia Fimo. So even though I do think Ryan got skills, I think he's lagging miles behind all of those kind of lightweights. I don't think that I don't think that he's standing the chance with not only Devin but Tank or uh, Tia Fimo. So, so the, I mean, if that fight was um, offered to you, Luke Campbell against Devin, would you take that fight? And is that fight you would be interested in? Because that that would be, a, I mean, a good way to judge the two of them. That's too easy, man, because now people will say, oh, he was finished. And, you know, um, I would like to, honestly, we want to see a female. And this, I mean, this is real talk. We ain't pretending. Devin wants to see a female out of all of them. He would fight any of them, but, I mean, mm. he would to get like bad with see a female. That's really who we want. Like, we want to get him like Sugar Ray Leonard and Tommy Hearns did it early. They didn't have to wait till they was 30 years old. You know, to to get a unification. You know, they both in their early twenties. Everybody wanted to see it. Definitely yeah, man. Early. September nineteen eighty one. Come on, the knowledge. What you say? That was September nineteen eighty one. That fight. Oh yeah, exactly. So man, I, I think that. But if we can't get that, then I think um um let me see. You know, 
or you got guys out there like Fortuna and um Yeah. That's a good fight. I think he kinda high up in the rank because uh I think he's a lot harder than um Luke. You know, I think he's at this point and, and you know, you even got guys like Robert Easter. I'm not sure if Robert moved up the weight. Um, you know, Broner's probably out the question since he getting ready to fight. That would have been a good fight. So so you mean you I mean you, I mean you listen. I know you personally, uh, Mickey. You know, I've been in a gym with you, and I, I, I would never doubt your knowledge uh, in this sport. You're telling me that Devon is ready for them fights right now? Oh, 100%. See, this okay. is the thing. I'm going to be totally honest. I'm not saying he'd knock all of them out, but I know he'd beat them for sure. Okay. 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 End, I bet anything Devin would get his hands raised by Elvin. Uh, if he would get his hands, think about it. Why you don't hear them call the Devin now? That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Well, I mean, I mean, the way I see it is that you know you got four guys, four young guys. Um, we need to see these facts. We don't. There ain't no. We don't want to see no ducking or dodging. Um, you, you've made it quite clear that Devon is not the one that's ducking. So, uh, you know, I, I look forward to these fights. And, um, yeah, it's, it's very, very interesting to me. But I, because I know you, I've got to take your word for it. If you're telling me you believe Devon is ready for these fights, I personally, I'm just being real with you, as I always am, Mickey. I okay. think... With Lady Chan, Lady Chan, yeah, Lady Chan, put Lady Chan's thing up, right? Yeah, I feel well, that... The, this is me, Mickey. I feel, obviously, you're in the gym with Devon every day. Nobody knows Devon and is around Devon more than you. But for my eye, I'm saying that Devon is such a prospect that I feel that if you give him another 12 months, easy, because Devon's only going to get better. Oh, for sure, 100%. You, you know, and that's, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the fact that, you know, I think if you put him in those fights now, does that really damage him later on down the road? But if you're so sure, if in your opinion he can beat them, then I guess I've got to take your word for it. I look forward to this whole thing. Lady Shan done them season says, I'm bored of the talk. Lopez has called out Haley uh, uh, even religiously, even last night. What, 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 what do you say about that, um, um, uh, Mickey? Lopez um, says he sent the contracts to Devon. And, 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 and they've asked for the wait, fight. Wait, wait, yeah. Listen, go on. What do you say? Say that again, Mickey. Wait, you said they said they sent the contract to Devin Wayne. Yeah, that's what that that's what he apparently that's what he said on on on, on his live last night. Um 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 Tia Fimo. So is that true? Man, that, that sounds good for the fans. You know, you can't even <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good, but you know, you can't even come up with a contract. What do you do? Make it in the living room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, hey, Mickey. You know, Mickey, we're, we're experiencing this. We know, we know when it's just for the cameras. We know people are saying that contracts are being sent, and we know they're not being sent. So, but 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 we do we do want to see this fight, uh, or we want to see so many fights. A Devon against. What do you, what what's your take on Devin against Javante Davis? Oh, my take on that is um, oh, that's that's a huge fight. But I agree with what you said. Devin is young, so all of the fights don't have to be rushed. But yes, you know, one one of those fights, you know, this year, uh, I think he beat um Tank. Um, I think he beat Tank. You know, pretty much. I think he box. You know, outbox him. Uh, I'm not sure. If it be a late stoppage or unanimous decision, but he definitely outboxed Tank. But it's that's a huge fight, though. You know, Tank not taking it away from Tank is you know the real deal. But I don't see him landing those shots um, on Devin Haney. A lot of those heavy shots that he landed, I don't see him see it landing on Devin. Hey, Mickey, one thing I wanted to ask you: um, um, Devin and Bill were both on a. There was on some show and they were speaking about the spa that they had with Tank and that. Like Tank didn't want that work. Can you can you clarify that for me, please? Yeah, I, I was there. I, even, I was there too uh, that time. 
So, so I, I was there to see what happened, man. A lot of people, they didn't want to believe me, you know, and, and, and I was just arguing with one of my guys uh, not too long ago about that. But yeah, um, Tank got out on Devin, you know, a lot of years ago when he was young, but the last time they sparred, everybody was there, Mayweather, um, everybody, Broner brought uh, Tank in. And uh, Devin got out on him. Everybody was there. Everybody saw it. I saw it. Um, uh, Devin did get the better of him. Um, Excellent. Excellent. He, he got the better of him, hands down. Wow. Yeah, man. Mickey, big up yourself. A plum pleasing pleasure for you jumping on the fighters, right? And just answering the call because we're talking about we talking about Devin. So let me just phone Mickey. And see my phone, man, they answer. So big up yourself, Mickey Bay, former IBF lightweight champion and trainer of Devin Haney. Take care. God bless, brother. Okay, thanks. I'll talk to y'all again soon. Yes, sir. Big up, Mickey.